Yeah, g'day Gavin. Um, that's a good question. No, Jack um, has been an outstanding player for a long time with us and was down a little bit. I, I would agree with your comments. He won't want excuses made, but the reality is he wasn't quite right physically at times. Still worth selection, obviously. But what is pleasing for you, Gav, and all the fans is he's flying this pre-season. He's, um, he's been uninterrupted in terms of the amount of sessions and the quality of the sessions, so we'd expect Jack to bounce back in a really positive way. Yeah, g'day Jack. Uh, so, first of all, Freezer, as you could imagine, we're, we're relatively conservative with Freezer. He, he needs some continuity and he's been getting that, not with the group, he's been training away from the group. He's just joined back in now. So, uh, fingers crossed to some extent that he now gets some real continuity with the group and will be really close with respect to round one. Now, he's, you know, he's obviously competing with everyone else for a position, but it's pleasing that he's been able to stay healthy up until now, and, uh, and we're really optimistic there. Huey's had a really positive pre-season. As you know, that hasn't been the case for the last two, so um, yeah, he's been able to do all the work. Um, he's, you know, he's working really hard on, on his game. Henry Playfair, a new backline coach, he's working with Henry and Danny Frawley, and, and we really like the way Huey's going. G'day Alex, um, I, um, I've learnt that at times I can get in the way a little bit too much, so um, I need to let the players, in particular the leaders, lead. Um, last training session is a good example of that where we call it the captain's run, but I still find myself getting a little bit too involved, so that's, that's a real focus of mine this year, to make sure that I give the leaders the space to be exactly that, to lead the team. I'm not out there game day. So I need to get out the way of times of training, and that's a that's a, a focus of mine. Yeah, I know, Finn. And uh, it's almost flipped this year in pre-season. Last year, Hickey wasn't able to get out there, and uh, and Billy was in pretty good shape. Uh, it's not quite as um, as contrasting as that, but Billy has still not joined the group, and Hick, after shoulder surgery, has been able to do a fair bit of training. So. You'd have to say Hickey um, slightly in front if you were to pick a team this week, but the reality is there's a bit of time for, for Billy to get going, and it's really healthy that there's there's going to be competition, you know, for that spot. Rowan Marshall also can play a bit of ruck, uh, and and Louis Pierce, who hasn't been out in the track, is also a person that uh, you know we think can can be a good ruck option for us. So it's healthy, it's competitive. Hickey at the moment slightly in front. Yeah, g'day Rod. Uh, now Longy's had a really positive pre-season. One of our camps was up at Longy's house in Darwin with our leadership group. It was great to get an insight into, into Longy's world and, and the world of his family. I thought that was really beneficial, not only for him, but for us. Um, now Longy's going really well. He's playing forward of the ball with, a, with pinch hitting through the midfield. So that'll sort of be his, his position. Hopefully, you know, and, and our want is as his endurance capacity improves, he'll play a bit more through the midfield. He wins the ball in contest, he's a pretty special player like that. Um, he play, he's played three games last year in his first year. We'd expect him to play a bit more footy. There's real competition in that position for us, which, which is healthy, but um, no, I like the way long he's going. I expect him to play a bit more footy this year. Yeah, g'day Steve, real bonus to have Dave back. Um, you know, when Dave's at his best, we're a better team, he's aggressive, he's physical, I'm probably telling you things you already know. Um, now we're really pleased to have him a fit and healthy dive back to be able to select from. Hopefully, you know, we've still got six weeks to go, but no, he's, um, he's in a really good space. Um, his position won't be too different to where it's been in the past, but, but your point is a good one. There's a bit more depth through there now, and so We'll continue to work on Dave's ability to play in front of the ball. His ability to be able to mark the ball in contest is, is good and, um, and we think Dave can really be a dangerous option for us in front of the ball as well as through the midfield. Eduardo, um, I like all music, but Johnny Cash, now I'm not sure what you call Johnny Cash a band. He certainly has some support and some backup, but um, no, Johnny Cash is the music that goes in the in the CD player when I'm when I'm travelling uh, on the road down to Seaford, Johnny Cash is the is the is the man I turn to. So I'd have to say Johnny's the man. 
Yeah, really good question. Great observations, Pat. Um, yeah, we, we really like the way, and I really like the way Blake is, um, is developing as a, as a player, and, and to your point, as a midfielder, he has the ability to be able to play inside and out. He's a big, strong guy. Um, you know, and his football is, is, is really starting to match his athletic attributes. Uh, he finished the year off in a really positive way. We'd expect him to play both mid and forward, um, and that is inside, outside, mid and forward. He's, he's able to win the ball in contest, uh, we, which we like in front of the ball. He's, we also like it at stoppage. So he's going really well. That, like, this is a reflection of our list now. We've got some real competition there with, with Dave and, and Steely and Luke Dunstan, Seb Ross, etc. You know, Caulfield and Clark will also, you know, put a bit of pressure on in those midfield forward positions. But you now we really like the way Blake's going. Uh, g'day, Kathy. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of players that have been impressive. Uh, we haven't played opposition yet, so you know, time will tell. But uh, the way the group has embraced the work. You know, to a man really has um, has been a bit of a standout this pre-season given there's been a shift in, in, in leadership with Rui and Joey and Shinna moving on. Um, they're really owning the team and there's been a lot of improvement by many. With respect to Caulfield and Clark and I nearly I just about throw Patton in there as well. Yeah they couldn't have been more impressive to date. Um, they're, they're eating up the work, um, they're earning the respect of their team much by the way they go about their footy and we like what they do when they when they get the ball or the way they win the ball or the way they put pressure on the opposition. So they're playing the way or they're training the way we want them to, to train and um, and they're doing nothing wrong. So I'd expect them to get an opportunity probably sooner rather than later. Tony Elshaw is the man uh, that is our head of recruiting. Yeah, I think the Jack thing uh, it's unusual, isn't it? But uh, they're all good players, so if they can play, I don't care what they're called. Um, and there's um, there's some really good jacks on, on our group, in our team. Um, and uh, keep bringing on the jacks, I say.